Welcome to the Fail Forward podcast. The purpose of this podcast is change the negative stigma around failure into a positive. Failure is only a negative if we do not learn from it and we give up. Welcome back to the Fail Forward podcast. The purpose of this podcast is to get people to not fear failure and overcome their goals and dreams. If you like what you hear, please um, subscribe and share in as many places as possible. Today, I'm going to be talking about competitors. And now this is a subject I love because it's so subjective with various different people. We To the point, we actually had a uh, member of our mastermind leave last year because somebody that was local to him came on the mastermind and in his words he didn't want anything to do with him and he'd prefer to see that company go under than to have in a mastermind which I thought was a massive statement and actually in a, in a roundabout way that's a lot of negative energy to have which I don't agree with. I love competitors. The world needs competitors. If you had the monopoly on a market what do you think is going to happen to your business? You're going to get lazy, you're going to overprice, you might not give value, you might not want to push on, you know, you might not want to be, you know, innovate and change and adapt and improve. I, I don't believe that um, it should, you know, that, that would be a good or happy world. And I don't think if you're running a business, if you had no competitors, that you're going to, that's going to make you happy. That's not going to give you that, you know, who are you going to be competing against? You know, I know, and some of you guys know me and, and have probably heard me talking in the past, but I'm one of the most competitive people going. I love competing, I, you know, even to the point that when we're playing Mario Kart on the Switch at home, I have to be every member in my family. If I don't, that really gets, that really gripes me. Um, you know, it can, being com, competing against other people is what life's about for me. And I think it can be healthy as well. And that's not like a negative, like I want everyone to be below me, but it helps boost you up. It gives you a buzz. It's part of what sort of makes people tick. And going into what I was just saying, if there was, if you just had the monopoly on on it, there is a lot of room for complacency then. And are, are you going to be delivering the best service you possibly can? Is your client going to be getting the best service they can? What's going to be really pushing you on to, to, to go on and I've seen it for years in different businesses I know of two businesses that are about an hour down the road from me and um, they're both tree surgery businesses and one would buy a big chipper and the other one would buy a big chipper and then the other one would go for this contract and the other one would go for it and then suddenly another one would buy another big piece of kit and these two businesses were built and they're decent businesses and they're built on their competitive edge they were literally 20 minutes down the road from one another and they were constantly competing and I think they did really well out of that I think if there was I don't know because but if they were just one of them and they weren't competing they might not have evolved as quickly as they thought they would have been able to evolve because what competitors do is that they they do keep you pushing on they keep you striving to be the best they keep you you know they, they keep you going and moving forward and wanting that next piece of kit and wanting to be improved wanting to offer good value wanting to constantly evolve and push on in your business I certainly know having collaboration with my competitors in a roundabout way and I never expect really realized this would happen but for me when the business went under three years ago we were at a point where we'd lost everything and we'd restarted the business and actually one of my main competitors who I'd actually done some work for in the past and a couple of my other competitors really helped out and really surrounded me and helped out and actually we'd always competed against each other but we'd always talked we sort of we're competi mates I like to call it where we're kind of competing against each other but we're friends and you know this is all about going back to networks and networking and what I'd actually done over the 10 years of running the business is I built up quite a few contacts within the tree surgery industry and I'd built up different businesses that I know and yes we would compete against each other in in, in certain jobs with competing we'd also got to know each other we'd we, we'd got to know each other really well and there was one competitor that um we'd got to know he's I call him like my father figure in the industry and he'd been a real um sort of he'd been trading at least 10 15 years longer than me and we'd always we'd always talk once a month or, or so often and actually when the business went under and especially uh, you know you guys I've talked about my recovery and how I sort of for a few months really couldn't pull my head out my ass for qu- for quite a while and I was just fighting it fighting with you know um addiction and overeating and and you know trying to build you know get my family back and rebuild my relationship with my wife and all those things that 
what he did is he actually said, look, Henry, I've got a load of work. Do you want to, um, do you want to sub to us? And I was like, yeah. And we subbed two teams for him for three months, um, which meant we only had, we had three teams on it. It only meant we had to find work for one team over that, probably from September to Christmas period. And it absolutely saved the recovery of our business because what it meant is I had time to recover. I had time to find myself again. Um, it meant my team um, teams had work and we had revenue coming in to be able to start paying the bills. And that all came from having a competitor. So when people say to me they don't want competitors or they want them to go under or they want to, you know, they, they, they don't want them around, then I think that's just a, a not the right way to be looking at it because not only does it help you improve as a business, but what it actually does is if thing when there's when the shit hits the fan, you can help each other out. We share another yard with another tree surgery business and a guy I've known for for many, many years is in the local area to me. And quite often we borrow kit off each other and we help each other out. Yes, we might be competitors and we might do some work for each other, but we certainly help each other out. So I think competitors are great. And I always found it crazy, actually, because I'm in Southampton. I'm not originally from Southampton, so I don't have the Southampton to Portsmouth rivalry. But I have a lot of Saints fans. And I remember talking to them and again, and around the time, and it hasn't been one for a while, but you get the Southampton, the South Coast main derby, Southampton versus Portsmouth. And I remember all my Saints fa- friends that are Saints fans, they'd be absolutely buzzing on game day, buzzing after game day. It would be like the talk of the of the year and and, and everyone would buzz from it. And then I'd talk to people down the pub and they'd be like, I can't, I'm, I'm, when, especially when Portsmouth were dropping down the leagues, oh, I can't wait for them to go under. And I'm like, surely you don't want them to go under. Like you'd be buzzing on game day. Like I think competitors are 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 what make us thrive. And and um, you know, I think I think it'd be it, for for someone like if Portsmouth or Southampton went to one under, they and they probably I'm probably going to get a lot of friends messaging me after this saying you're talking a load of crap, Henry. But I believe that that they would be they they would miss out on those derby days. They don't happen that often anymore because they're such a distance apart um so unlucky Portsmouth well done Southampton hopefully you stay up this year but anyway going back to competitors um I you know I really think competitors are a good thing so to recap you know really embrace your competitors and and let and don't let that become negative energy let when you're competing let that be positive energy let that help you improve and work out how you can be better and how you can keep trying to get one up but always keep in touch keep friends with your competi mates because it really does help the world go round so all in all competitors are a really positive thing for business so keep pushing on and keep failing forward thanks all for listening take care